We're back. We are. And we have been delving yet again into the depths of our... Uh, chasing the Sun Chili Festival purchases, haven't we? We have indeed. Mm-hmm. We have indeed. Um... Chili Hills. Chili Hills. Interesting stuff. So, luckily, the website's in English, <laughs> which helps, because my eyes aren't that good, and, um, yeah, trying to translate that on the fly would be a little bit difficult. <laughs> so, www.chili-hills.com is where you will find them, and this is their village spice. Um, we live in a village and we like spice. We do. So it seemed the perfect choice. We do. So, in here, uh, we have chipotle and ancho chili peppers. So, ancho poblanos. Yeah. If you say so. I yeah. don't know. Well, chipotle are roasted jalapeno. Yes. Ancho. I'm guessing a roasted poblanos then. Could be. Mm. Roasted garlic, onion, brown sugar, Himalayan salt, white wine vinegar, and village spices. Now that's interesting, village spices. Obviously, you know, just mix spices on an ingredients thing is fine, um, as long as they don't contain any allergens then you know, yeah. you don't need to list your secret ingredients. Um, but village spices. So now, is this, is this a tradition, traditional kind of? How spicy is your village? Mm. Hmm. But is it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying. To get. Is it? Is it a traditional sort of spice flavouring? I wonder. So this is wild herbs from the Rodope mountain range. To give an extra dimension of flavour to barbecue or roasts. Mm. So the sauce is aimed at meat. I approve. Um, and it's it's kind of an interesting looking one. Looks a little bit like, uh, not HP, but A1. Kind of, It's got that kind of steak sauce look the to it. The, the colour and the... And the um the flow yeah as it looks in the bottle anyway but this is also it's a, a golden medal into food winner 2019 as well yeah gold medal winner so whatever it is it's going to be good we I know that so. much i believe so so i'm so going to tell the lovely people where um chili hills are based go on then. if they don't remember you could do that bulgaria i believe if memory serves me correctly yes yeah. Oh, we've been to Bulgaria, but we didn't go to the mountains, but I don't know whether they're the we ski did, We didn't go to the chilly hills. We did not go to the chilly hills, no. no. There's a, a, quite a good range on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's got 20-something sauces in, in total, so there, there is a good range on there. And there were some other, other products as well, wasn't there? So if yep. you're, you're interested, um, check out the footage on the Nuke Facebook page for... Uh, the Chasing the Sun Festival, I believe, was it day one? I think it they was. They were on, yeah. yeah. And uh, you'll see the incredible range of products that they have up there. And so some special little numbers on there oh. as well. All the smokiness is there, definitely, isn't it? I'm getting a lot of chipotle. Yeah, lots of chipotle. Get the garlic. Get the onion. Yeah, it's just that really lovely kind of meaty, barbecue-y kind of uh, aroma What if we there, bring spoons? There? I need a burger to try this on. Or a steak. Yeah, nice bit of roast chicken or something. Mm, yeah. Whoa, okay. So, um, it's a little looser than I thought it might have been. So I was right about the, uh, the kind of consistency. 
it has got that steak sauce consistency to it. Mm. So it pours quite uh, quite quickly. Oh well. Well, it does, doesn't it? It just suddenly mm. suddenly comes. But it looks like it's actually still got some texture to it as well, doesn't it? Mm. It's not completely smooth, which is nice because it means it will kind of you'll get little bits of things when you're eating. So oh, intrigued. Smells, yeah, yeah. It smells really good. The chipotle is really, well, the smoky smells really strong, isn't it? Mm. So it's not wildly different from what I would expect a chipotle to be. But it's actually considerably less sweet than I was expecting. So you've got a really good punch of like the, the garlic and the chipotle flavour coming through. But it is very, very savoury. I got what to me felt like a um yeah, kind of initial impact for a, a chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quite a sting off of the white wine vinegar. Yeah. As well. Um you know, quite acidic on the back of the throat there. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking Is that it? Are we finished? And then the herbs yep. come in. Right at the finish. Wow. It's it's different, isn't it? Um, you know, for me, I would say it's probably a little too savoury for me to want it on chicken, but I would definitely have that on red meat. So burgers, mm. steaks, anything that's got a like a richer flavour to it. Um, I actually think it would work with with duck. You need possibly. you need high high marmy food. Yeah. To 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 match with that. Yeah. Um, but I think you could just as easily get. Uh, you know, grilled vegetable kebab and just and brush it on. And actually, I think you know, if you mixed a little bit of that with with some honey, you could brush it onto chicken and, and glaze get it, it and, yeah. you know, a nice glaze. As it is as a sauce on its own, for me, I'm just straight away thinking it's got to be red meat with that soup into a soup. Yeah, I would mix that into some um, minced beef if you were doing like a like a cottage pie or something like that. Just adds a little bit of depth to it. But anywhere you want that little smoky flavour, I think yeah. that in a soup would bring it up. Um, you could put it on noodles, but I think all you'd be adding is like the smoky flavour. Yeah. Um, it's it's one for foods with a lot of umami. You know, a lot of that that meaty kind of. Yeah flavour um, definitely definitely but the consistency herbs, of it is amazing yeah the herbs coming in at the end are very clever yeah cause it's not up front and you're right you think you think you're there with the flavour and then there's just this fresh hmm. kind of herby but I'm, I'm intrigued as to knowing what the herbs are herbs um, wild herbs from the road oak mountain range. apparently so yeah mm. Heat level for you? One, one and a half, I think. Yeah. For me, it's you know it's, it's a nice, it's, a nice it's, comfortable heat. It's a mild sauce, maybe a one. Um, you're not you're not going to hurt anyone with that. Uh, mm, maybe a little bit spicy for Grandma if she was coming round. But... Yeah, but if if you if you like a little bit of heat, so if you're somebody yeah. who likes a jalapeno, for example. If if you can eat a bag of. Doritos heat wave, you'd be fine with that. Um, you know, it, it's really not that over the top. Very nice though. Interesting. So, yeah. chili hills.com, link in the description. Uh, go check them out. Like I say, there's a good range on mm, that very good range. website. Um, yeah, make sure you, uh, you have a look because he's got some real award winners on there definitely good but i think that's quite enough from us indeed, for now indeed 
Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one.